Greetings, God of Golds here is back at it again with a brand new video. Now, this tutorial, um, well, actually to start off with, I apologize for not uploading frequently. I'm, I'm going to be honest, finding ideas and stuff is very tricky because I don't exactly know what people would like to see. Um, which is why I always say in my videos comment down below if you know if you want to see something so I guess you could say For those of you who didn't need a tutorial or for the ones that really need it consider this a freebie So I know I've talked many times about Hoi 4 modding and I figured why not just give a quick little refresh a recap if you will like an update on my old tutorials, in a sense. So, let's get started. Today's lesson will be about, I guess, coding. Say if you're gonna try to make a mod, and you want to have, let's say, your own country, your own ideology, and your own characters. Now, that all sounds well and good, but putting dedication into that is another story. Just for making one ideology alone, there are sub-ideologies to include, and there are certain rules that you would need to follow in order for it to work properly. Otherwise, it's gonna break. So, for example, here's my new mod, The Great House. It's a brand new one that I just made. Um, if you want a link to the server, it's in the description down below. Uh, obviously, follow the rules um, and verify by using the reaction roll system and you're all set. So, let's get started. Say, let's begin with making a new ideology, right? So, you go in under common. Now, keep in mind, this is the main hub of your mod, right? These are all where all the folders are and that's where the setup is. So, you go to common and you go to ideologies of course because well if it was named something else it'd be not only tougher to find but it would also be kind of redundant so here's what I have what I like to do is I like to separate the ideologies in their own text documents this way it limits the confusion you can easily spot any type of error that is within the game if one of them is the cause and you can find out if whether or not you're missing something so that way you don't have to go, let's say, like this is vanilla, right? This is the vanilla file. And <laughs> I got this little message here, it's pretty funny. Uh, if YouTube tries, you know, to report me for using, typing that language there, go ahead, cancel me. Anyways, um, I have each of these ideologies and, well, aside from that funny message, the, these are the real ideologies in the mod. And as you see, under the types uh, bracket uh, section, you notice there are five subs for this particular ideology, which is, it takes place in 1835, so it's basically pre-communist, if you will. So how this works is uh, you can add your own, like here's a good example. You can add your own by doing this. You copy one of the others. And let's say I want to create utopianism. So you can do that. Or if you really want to get fancy, you could do collective uh, utopianism or social utopianism authoritarian utopianism or if you for the socialism one same thing utopian socialism authoritarian socialism or you can just do something like early pre like pre uh, social communism or just early social communism something like that like you can do a whole variety of different stuff just so long as you remember it um, color is pretty basic. You got these three digits here, which are RGBs. Um, RGBs are the colors. 
there are the three main color codes that you will use, whether if you want to make uh, yellow or green, it depends on your value. So like, say for example, you can use any, any uh, tool you want. You can use paint.net, you can do Microsoft Paint, you can use Photoshop to get the colors, or you can use an online tool, which I will feature a link in the description below. So I'm gonna go to this site. This is the site where it helps you choose colors. Um, you can generate random ones if you want. You can go based on examples here, which is best preferred. Or if you really want to, you can just mess around with this. It's really easy. I'll leave a link for uh, people who want to see this in the description, as well as a link to my mo my new mod server. Um, as for the color, that's pretty basic. Once you have that set up, you're good. Now, two things I have to, well, a few things actually I have to mention. Whenever there's an ID of something, like for example, where it says types and uh, utopian socialism, as well as this main ideology ID, whenever you see underscores like that, that usually implies there's an ID involved. And whenever there's an ID involved, that tells the game what it is, but it's up to you to localize it. Because if you don't, that's how it'll appear in game. Which is why, here's a solid example. Say if I go under um, localization, oh, and quick little lesson. Localization in your main hub, you click on the folder and you click on the language that you base it off of. Now there's a bunch of different languages you can pick depending on what your localization or text typing is. So I would say since I'm English or yeah, I'd just go English, which is pretty straightforward. Now, replace the replace folder is, well, it overwrites stuff. So you can put stuff in here and add new traits or countries. Like, uh, for example, I'm actually thinking about moving countries in here because there is a whole new set of countries I am making, as well as editing some pre-existing ones on the map. So it, it helps out a lot. Now, ideologies, uh, that's a custom one, although you can also use parties. But in this case, if I was to use the parties, I would drag them in replace. So that this way, you can utilize what you have in front of you. But here, this is just storage to make, to make the game understand these are the ideologies and these are the IDs. So, for example, if I copy Utopian Socialist right here, it's the same thing. No changes whatsoever. As long as it uses that same ID, this name will come up and it'll basically look better in game. Now, unlike the main ideological uh, ID tag right here, for the subs, which are below this, you can actually edit them or that title however you like, but there's a certain distinction you can actually add descriptions to your sub. For example, you copy this and you do something called desk, which is short slang term for description, D-E-S-C. But you make sure the underscore is before it. So what you do here is you can put my my ideology does this for example now if you want to get really technical like if you like that's just an example and you put a period at the end but say if you want to really explain what utopian socialism is now it is technically a real ideology it existed many years ago but ever since the invention of marxism things have changed so if you um, see a page something like this, you can copy and paste, or you can just put it in your own words. So let's say um, we want to replicate something like what's in here. So like 
Utopian socialism is often described as the representation of visions and outlines for imaginary or futuristic ideal societies, with positive ideals being the main reason for moving forward. So it's almost like progressive. But the thing is, this one allows you know for more economic free will, if you will. So I guess you can say socialism is kind of like that, where everyone gets equal pay. But here's the other kicker, is that unlike communism, socialism is more likely allowed to vote. Communism is, well, totalitarian, meaning that you have no free will. Socialism at least has some kind of basis for it. Now, at least that's how I see the ideologies. If you see a little differently, I understand. Please behave in the comments. And... Hopefully I can, I'll get back to you, don't worry. So the distinction of all different ideologies. So um, basically that's how it is. So let's say you wanna put something for utopian socialism. It is a political philosophy that enthuses for a fair and greater society. Something kind of like that. Like, it's very, um, but there's so many other ways you can describe it. This is just an example. So, I might change this later, actually, um, once I read this a little further. I'm not going to sit here and list all of the descriptions, it's just an example. So please don't chew my head off in the comments because I might have to delete your comment if it's, you know, targeting me. So anyways, uh, that's how descriptions work and that's how it'll show up. If you have this leader, if you have a leader with this, not really trait, but stance on his, uh, philosophy and ideological stance that description will show up if he's leading the country you can see in the bookmark and yeah that's pretty much it so editing ideologies uh the rest in terms you got basic faction names you got the rules you got modifiers and you even got the ai's now the ai is very tricky to script because that involves in doing stuff like battle plans sometimes it could also involve the behavior of the country itself like for example if it's an expansionist country meaning it'll annex or if it wants to spread its form of government it'll do something like that but for the sake of convenience and for the sake of you know saving me from the headache uh, that is scripting it all, I decided to just simply reuse the basic ideologies for here. Now, keep in mind, just because it has that personality doesn't mean it is that ideology, at least for the AI. This is a different one. This is, you know, this is before communism, so obviously things are going to be very differentiating. Now the rules, pretty straightforward, can puppet, can send stuff, can force stuff, can create, can collaborate, and can only justify war on threat countries. Which this, if it's yes, that usually means it's, it, it wants to defend for peace. Meaning it doesn't want to harm anybody else. It just wants to be defensive and supportive. But if it says no, that means it usually will do what it wants. So... You got, uh, ugh, you got other modifiers here, and you got tension stuff, like how much tension you get for whenever you play as said ideology, that is, if it's ruling a country. So, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, there is a little more in-depth of this. Uh, you might have to look it up, but it's essentially the way it is. Like, you can do... 
all these different kinds of modifiers. You can even add faction modifiers to this ideology group, which is also pretty interesting. Also, one more thing before I end this off. Um, you can use the hashtag number sign up there. Um, basically, as long as that's in on the left side of your text, of your small description, you can actually not intervene with the coding, for those of you who don't know, and you can actually uh, describe this. Like, it's almost like a bookmark in a sense. So, whenever you open up this file, you have something like this, or at least I have something like this, to help me decipher which is which. It's very useful. So, always make sure at least one of these comes right in front of whatever you're typing. If you do this, your coding is going to break. So, I would recommend not to do that and just do this step, okay? Now, it can even be useful for describing stuff, like for example, like this. Stuff like that. It's very useful to describe whatever you're using. Just make sure it doesn't directly intervene with any of the coding, because yes, it could cause leakage and it could cause the data to eventually and possibly crash the game in worst case scenarios. But it all depends on the severity of the glitch that you're dealing with. So I hope that clears things up. So this is a quick little tutorial. Uh, I guess you could say it's a dab into coding. And I hope this helped. Uh, I might make a part two of this. Uh, comment down below if you really want to see a part two and if you really need more help and you want me to touch upon another subject of this, please comment and like like the video if you do. And if you also want to get more notifications in the future, you're going to have to hit subscribe and enable notif notifications so that you don't miss a video from me. So for now, until next time, I wish you the best. Gold is out.